Hey everyone, it's Get back today with another profession video and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade all your Iskar and fishing gear. Now in order to do this, you need to talk to Tavio here, uh, who's located in Iskar. I think everyone knows exactly where he's located. He's down here. And when you talk to him, the last part here in the fishing gear upgrades is you need draconian nuggets, battered imbued made nets, iron tree branch, some strong sea vine, and last but not least, some selenated ceravite, right? But, in reality, you need two more items. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean? This is right here. These are all my upgrades. And they are. But Tavio here throws you a curveball. He ain't telling you the whole truth. Because after you turn all these in, okay, you turn all these in and you think, hey, you take all this time to fish up all this stuff here, and you're like, oh, great, I got all my fishing gear upgraded. Nah, because after you turn all this in, this is what Tavio gives you. Boom! So this is what it looks like. All right, so after you did all your fishing and fished all that, all those items up, Tavio's like, uh-uh, sucker, you got to do some more fishing. So I need you to get some more strong sea vine, some more draconian nuggets, more nets, you know, some salinated cervite, and some iron tree branches. And to make matters worse, because those items are very hard to get as it is, uh, because total, if you count in the first page, to get to this page, you're going to need nine of each item, right? He's like, you know, I need some Kazgorite infused resin and some Kazgorite wire. Now, you might have the wire and the resin and had no idea what to what they were used for well here you go this is what they're used for now the good thing about all these though is these are all account bound so like if you have an alt and you know especially with the resin and the um the wire like if you get those on an alt you can send them to whoever you need to upgrade your fishing gear with uh, the best place to farm these, I'm not going to show that in the video because um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the best place to farm the wire and the, and the resin is go to any fishing hole and go to the lunker sign and throw your conch in there, right? Conch. Okay, that, I know what you all are probably thinking. I said conch. You throw your conch in there and do some lunker fishing. Especially when a rare's up, right? Like you want to kill the rares that spawn from the from the conch fishing. So, <laughs> so, um, and the odds that one of those rares um, drop a resin or a wire are pretty high. And but you can only kill it once a day. You can only kill that rare once a day. That's why if you have alts, you probably want to go there and then and then throw it in there and try to get it. But you only need one of each, so that's not too bad. The real grind is getting nine branches, nine, nine nets, uh, nine sel selenated cervites, nuggets, and strong sea vines. So I'm going to show you in this video where to get these, these items. Uh, you can get them in open water, but, but it's very slim. But there are some places you can go that will up your chances of getting them. And that's what I'll show you in this video. So uh, let's get to it. One of the locations where you want to come to fish up these items is located in the Waking Shores at this fishing hole right here. Uh, this fishing hole is on a rotation basis, so it might not be up all the time. Now when you get here, ideally you want the fishing hole to be at rich status. And you want to fish from these pools right here uh, called the Magma Thresher Pools. Now part of my graphics are pretty bad. I got, a, I got an older computer. But after a while, after you fish from these pools, which give you a really good chance to get uh, the items you need to upgrade your gear, uh, after you fish them for a while, eventually one will spawn. That's, an, that's a special school, and that special school is called an overheated magma thresher pool. And those are the ones you really want to shoot for because those give you a really high chance of uh, getting some of the items that you need to upgrade your gear. This is one spot, I'll take you to a couple others. 
Another spot where you can come fish that gives you a good chance to get these items is located in the Inaran Plains, uh, just south of the Inari Springs. And when you come here, you wanna fish from the Prismatic Leaper Schools. Now these Leaper Schools um, spawn all across the zone here, but the two I'm gonna show you is what I found the most time efficient. So this is one location and I'll put the waypoints in the description below. And then after you're done fishing from this one, you could just jump over to this other uh, lake, which is really close. And usually on this lake here, there is one or two schools. So you can jump back and forth. The last spot I recommend to upgrade your fishing gear to get the items is right east of Camp Antonitis here in the Azor Span. And this is where you can do ice fishing. Now, ideally you want the fishing hole like it is today to be here so you can get it at a rich status. And when it's at a rich status, you have a chance to, an increased chance to get a deep ice fishing hole and those last 10 minutes, which give you a higher chance of, of getting the items. Now, before you come, come here, uh, I do recommend, uh, they're all labeled on your map here, so to fly around and start cracking these ice cracks, and I'd crack them all at, all at the same time before you, you start fishing. Ideally, like this is a deep hole right here, it's a 10 minute one, so this is what you're looking for, but why you want to fish up like why you want to crack all these open is because by the time you're done fishing your 10 minute hole all these will be covered up and this is a three minute hole um, these will all be covered up and then you can new ones will spawn and then you can just get right back at it so the process is pretty easy now ending this video I do want to say that personally for me the best places that I've found uh, that worked for me the best have been the magma thresher pools in the waking shore and the over overheated thresher pools and the prismatic leaper pools in um, the Azor Span and Oran Plains area. So um, I will say this though, uh, I've never gotten a, a recipe bottle fishing in those two spots, but I have gotten a, a recipe bottle ice fishing and I have gotten a gold coin ice fishing of course everything's rng but uh take it as you will so good luck with your fishing and upgrading your iskaran fishing gear